Hello. Um, this one is um, a crate flying towards three ringed planets. This one, the big, the big one that's the central focus of the picture, this one's an Earth-like planet. And I'm <laughs> making a proper meal of trying to draw these rings. I'm rubbish at drawing planetary rings, to be honest, because of the way that the camera... Uh, the, the camera that's been used has warped the, the shape of the rings so you've got kind of like that that perspective business and I, in theory I, I should just actually plan it out and do the perspective properly but also I couldn't be asked so it, it looks a bit bad for example I thought well I'll, I'll try colouring it in gold with felt pen my gold pen ran out I'll try colouring it in brown brown didn't show up and then I thought, sod it, I'm going to do it in pencil crayon. So here we are with pencil crayon. My pencil crayon is far too yellow. It's too much yellow and too much red in these. They were much more buff and dull. But I got the basic kind of like tonal values and just not the correct colour particularly. Try and clarify the different different bands of the, the, the planetary rings. Imagine though, if, if you lived on that little Earth-like world, looking up into the sky, like with the... Um, the rings just slight, slightly faded by the the blue sky, and but always present, like a constant rainbow, something. And what would it do to the waves? Like not having the moon in one place pulling, but a gentle kind of like a band. I don't know well how, what that would do. I'm not a meteorologist or a planetary scientist, so I've got no clue. I would love it if somebody would tell me exactly what what, what they think that planetary rings do to the. Uh, due to the fluid on a planet or the uh, tectonics of a planet. Who knows? Apparently, the rings are a bit freaky because they um, would knock into each other a little bit, the little gravelly rocks. So um, y you get the occasional stone falling out of the sky, which would be, like, you know, stressful on a round of golf, wouldn't it? Or, you know, when you're driving your car and your windscreen gets smashed in. That would be that bracing, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, these these rocks above you, any one of them might lose their orbital traction and gradually sink and decay and fall to earth in your on your shed or, you know, cat. And I guess there's always the possibility if you are on the bit of the planet that has the ring completely side on, you might not actually see them. Depends, I guess, on how thick the ring band is. But you know, I like a crate. The um, I travelled quite a long distance in one. My crate phantom was nice. I liked it. This one's a bit sketchy. This picture's all a bit sketchy. Banging on a bit of chalk to kind of dull back that 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 bold colour looks a lot better to be honest after I put the chalk on um, but yeah so we've got the the structure of the crate sort of becoming apparent here and the uh, the boost boost boosting towards I quite like the way the blue it, it, it picks out the blue on that planet so that it it, it it sort of makes you look at the blue of the planet and of course not only has it got this this ring um, it's also got two other planets near it that you would be able to see that are really close, like the moon distance away, that that also have rings. So can you imagine how staggering that 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 look would be to see these these, these not moons because the, the, one of them's a gas giant. I I can't really tell what the other one is, but I bet that's a gas giant too. In fact, I think it is. Both of them gas giants. But yeah, so this place to look up through the clouds and see the, the ring planets. Imagine it. I don't know what it'd be like. What kind of weird belief systems would crop up on a planet like that? What 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 would the astrologers say? <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I should shut up.